Humans have been coming to Britain for nearly a million years. At least 10 waves of occupation. We're in the last one of those now. And we think at least four human species were involved coming to Britain at the edge of the inhabited world and dealing with conditions at times much more severe than today. We think the first humans to arrive belonged to the species Homo antecessor, pioneer man. And what they left behind is footprints and stone tools. And these show us they were there, but we don't have more detail of them. By the time we come to about 500,000 years ago, Britain had warmed up and we have a new human species here, Homo heidelbergensis. These people were living on a coastal grassland and they were hunting large game. They were making hand axes and using them to butcher the animals that they were killing. In the exhibition, we've not only got the stone tools, but we've got the physical remains, a very strongly built tibia. So when we come to about 400,000 years ago, we've got the beginning of the evolution of the Neanderthals. And these were a highly successful species that were here for several hundred thousand years on and off. They were skilled tool makers, skill hunted gatherers, and they were exploiting animals all the way in size from small game up to even things like mammoths. They were short and stocky, powerfully built, a large brain, a brain as big as ours. So these were a very successful human group. The early Neanderthals were still using hand axes, but later on they developed new methods of tool making, ones where you could prepare the shape of the artifact you wanted, and then in a single blow make something that could become a hand axe for butchery, or it could become a spear point to put on a handle. After a long period of absence, the Neanderthals were back here by 60,000 years ago. And they are then joined, maybe 20,000 years later, by early modern humans who had come out of Africa even more skilled than the Neanderthals in hunting and gathering, in their tool making and in things like artistic expression. We have in this exhibit lots of handiwork of these early modern humans as far back as 40,000 years down to about 12,000 years ago. In the end, only modern humans survived and we're still not sure why that is. It could have been partly climate change, very rapid climate change and also economic competition from the modern humans who were living alongside them, hunting the same animals, collecting the same plant resources, wanting to live in the best territories. It's really, really exciting to always find out something new, especially with our species. I was very surprised by how old the specimens were. I didn't expect them to go back quite that far. The ingenuity, I think, of, of seeing how things were made back then um, was fascinating. To actually see this oldest part of a human that existed in Britain is amazing.